What's up everybody? Welcome to another Jersey Filmmaker episode where we talk everything filmmaking. I'm Anthony Saratelli and today I want to address a request I got on a YouTube comment not too long ago. I recently did an episode about my red camera rig and went behind the scenes of a music video I shot. In the music video I had dressed the set with some practical lights that hung from the ceiling and Henry Chapin asked, can you elaborate on the lights you dangled from the ceiling? I'd like to try that look. What kind of bulbs and cable did you use? So as I mentioned in that episode, I bought all of my practical lighting supplies at Home Depot. I overbought so we had all kinds of options on shoot day and returned the rest afterwards. I knew what the studio location we were going to shoot at looked like, so I had a vision of the style I wanted and the dangling practicals was at the top of my list. So when I walked in the store, I went straight to the lighting section and went looking for Edison style bulbs, not even knowing if they sold anything like that. There were a few options, but thankfully there was a display with this bulb so I could see what it looked like. I went with these Philips vintage bulbs because I was happy with the look and they were only $10 each, which I knew my client could fit into their budget. I bought six, but we only ended up going with four because we thought it suited the space better. But now that I have the lights, how do I hang them and light them up? I wanted to make sure they hung straight down. I didn't want any elbow or L shapes involved. So I started by searching for some sort of socket that I could hopefully plug into an extension cord and Home Depot came through. I found these nifty little sockets that were exactly what I was looking for. The bulb screws right in and you can use an extension cord to plug into this side and suspend from the ceiling. I grabbed both black and white extension cords not knowing which color would be best on set but we ended up going with the black so it wouldn't stand out as much. And that's all there is to it. An Edison style bulb, a light socket to outlet adapter, and an extension cord and you get this look. It's a really cool look and take my experience as a lesson. I did have a general idea of what I wanted my lighting to look like, but I didn't know exactly how I was gonna accomplish it. So I just walked into Home Depot, wandered around, and figured something out. And by the way, this is definitely not the only way to accomplish this, so don't be afraid to go DIY shopping and experiment to achieve different looks you envision in your head and unleash your creativity. And that's all I got for today. If you like this video, please help me out and click the like button, subscribe and click that little bell so you can get alerts whenever a new episode is posted. If you have any comments or questions like Henry did, as you can see, I will respond to them directly or bring your ideas onto the show. So please go ahead and leave them below or contact me on any of my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Jersey Filmmaker. Thanks so much for watching. Go shopping and have some fun with practical lighting, and I'll see you next time.